Hi there everyone and welcome back to my uh, isolation pub shed uh, for another and very special session. And the reason it's very special is that I'm afraid this is going to be the last of um, the isolation pub sessions I'm going to be able to do um, for the foreseeable future, uh, um, providing everything goes according to plan and I can't guarantee that's going to happen um, but I'm certainly hoping it's going to happen because it means actually working again. Um, I'm going to be absolutely full on from next week kind of until November time uh, so with that in mind um, I figured this would be a good time to, to sort of have a big last hurrah for the isolation pub session and um, what better way to start with uh, one of the old favourites, in fact the very first set of tunes that started this whole thing off back in March last year. Um, so uh, we're going to play uh, the Off to California and the Harvest Home and when we did it the first time obviously very few people knew that I didn't even know what I was doing um, so we didn't get a huge number of people on the first one. Um, I'm hoping we can make a big wall of sound with these tunes um, and uh, and yeah, so uh, let's crack straight on and play uh, Off to California and the Harvest Home. Thank you. 
there we go <laughs> just as hard as it was a year and a bit ago um uh so yes good luck getting your fingers around that one uh especially the run down in um the harvest home excuse me it's really really hot in the shed at the moment this is uh in the middle of the heat wave so uh i've got something to cool me down here cheers everyone happy summer um so yes um uh, i'm going to be off on tour with uh peter knight and gig spanner big band um in the next uh, week or so and um that triggers the beginning of festival season and if you look at my gig listings on on the website i'm doing something pretty much every weekend at least and quite a lot of the weekdays in between as well throughout um the end of july and august into september and then um i'm going on uh on tour with uh john bowden in uh, october end of september beginning of october with our, our new album that's going to be out then uh so it's been very exciting putting the album together that's um going to be uh, all the publicity about that's going to come out in the next few weeks and uh yeah yeah um in other news bellowheads are currently number one in the uh charts of the folk charts that is um despite not actually existing as a band which is amazing um and uh so yeah it's been <laughs> quite an eventful week and it's uh it's certainly getting quite busy so um uh, i'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who's taken part in all of these all the regulars and all the people who've only sent me something once it doesn't matter um the whole idea of these sessions was well there wasn't really an idea when i started doing them it was just i'll play a tune and see what happens but um as it's grown what's happened is people have taken it on board and i know i get a lot of feedback from people who say um you know certain little things that we've done or the fact that they can practice it over makes them more confident than they would be actually going into a physical session um and you see most of them find once you get stuck in it's not scary as it seems um you've seen me make plenty of mistakes i made some mistakes in that last lot um a lot of people have said that seeing you make mistakes <laughs> makes me feel all right about having a go and we've seen that wonderful thing of when everyone plays together you get that sort of evening out so any little mistakes or timing things kind of gets swept up in the session sound and you don't notice it you just everyone's part of this wonderful thing and that's what sessions are like in in real life as well so um for any of you that have just joined in with these and, and not been to real sessions out there in the wild, um, as soon as you feel safe doing that again, I'd really, really recommend doing it because, you know, while this is fun, it's um, it's not the real deal. Uh, and uh, doing a room full of people just making amazing music together is something quite different. So all you need in your arsenal is a little repertoire of tunes that you know a certain session is likely to be playing. And so I've tried to make the material that we do here mainly stuff that uh, is um, fairly common to find in sessions in the wild. So um, having said that, I'm going to play this, this uh, one for the last tune that we do. Um, it's actually one that lots of you joined in with last summer, uh, but we never did it as an actual isolation pub session. And it's um, uh, a tune called the, uh, oh, what's it called? The Fair Haired Laddie or something like that. Yes, I think it's, I think that's right. Anyway, I'll write it in the description once I <laughs> look up what it's actually called. Um, and it's a tune we did with the Shrewsbury Folk Festival big band last year. Um, uh, slightly more arranged, but uh, a nice contemplative and slow air tune to go out on. Um, so, uh, yeah, please join in. And who knows? I don't know whether I'm going to end up doing one of these again um, uh, for a special occasion or something like that but just you know if you follow me on the social channels if if i do do that then uh, it'll be there i'll announce it there yellow haired laddie that's right i didn't need to look it up so this is the yellow haired laddie
There we go. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, well done. And uh, as I say, um, all the normal things apply with this one. Um, if you uh, get me enough things by the middle of next week, I shall put it together into like a, a midweek session to see how everyone's going. And um, I'll need your um, your submissions by next Saturday. If you can get me them earlier, actually, it would be better because obviously um, I'm already going to be out on the road by next weekend so some of this is going to have to be done in in hotel rooms or, or places like that um so it might not come out next sunday but if you can get me the the videos before next saturday night that'd be brilliant um so yeah thank you very much everyone it's been a really nice ride and uh cheers i'll see you next time i do something bye everyone <laughs>